This is a song that's that's like a I played you a song from my grandfather and in the last five or six years it's been an incredible way to celebrate his life and to kind of remember him, you know, and thought it's wonderful to write a song with Sunday um, and have it have that effect. And so I wanted to uh, you know in the last five years I've sort of wondered what I would do for my grandmother as such an amazing person and whether I should write her a song, but it felt very stupid to try to you know, do the trick twice, so to speak. It doesn't seem like one of those things, and uh, I kind of left it, you know, just forgot the idea. And then in the, in the week before my grandmother passed away, she passed away about a month or two ago. In the week before she passed away, I moved her into uh, one, of those, one of those nice wards at the hospital where people kind of go to finish up, you know, and, uh, and there was a guy across the hall in another ward, and his name was George. And George was also kind of finishing up, so to speak, in one of these wards. And, and he decided when he saw my grandmother that she was the love of his life, the woman he'd been waiting his whole life to find. And my grandmother picked it. She said, I know it's all in his head. And he was going a bit weird. He was going a bit funny in his old age. But, uh, but man, was he committed. He said he had found her, he confessed his undying love for her. He asked my dad if he could sit by her bed, and he sat by her bed for a week. Yeah. And I thought, if that doesn't deserve a song written about it, what does? And I wrote a song from the perspective of George. Yeah. So, it's a song called Rose.
hungry, you're here right now. Soon you're going away. And I am also heaven bound. 